I am Beggars, the new drummer. That's me. How you doing on my Jake He plays guitar and a screamer. <laughs> and that, that drunk, I guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and we're from New York. We're tourists here. Alright. So, uh, presuming people who get to watch this documentary at the end of the day know fuck all about punk and don't know what's going on here, how would you explain to them what's going on over this weekend? Uh, like, uh, there's like a, it seems to be like a fucking like congregation from all over the world. I'm meeting people from everywhere. And um, just putting everybody in one place together and trying to like, people I wrote to in the past, I'm meeting them for the first time. Most of them seem nice, seem okay, a little drunk, so are we. Uh, Join the club. Good way. <laughs> <laughs> right. So what's the, uh, how do you feel about the general atmosphere? How do you feel about the general atmosphere? What's going on here? That's good. I know a lot of people, a lot of people I guess don't know us. Uh, I guess. <laughs> you don't even know us. Yeah, a lot of people know us. I enjoyed it. Yeah, we had a good time. That's what it's about. No surprise we even had that many people into us. Was you su surprised by the reaction you got? Yeah. Yeah. And then you the songs that were singing along. That's weird. I was like, oh, we mouth open. We didn't care. We just wanted to have fun. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Did. Yeah, we ain't here to make money. We paid for it. We fucking made this too. We fucking hit that trap. I ever know this broken house. We got the last three days. We got made about four hours of sleep. Just struck. We fucking come to this gig. We fucking do this show. Like, we're not even in it for the money. We don't even fucking care. We just want to play out to people. So, So if you don't mind me asking, how much are you getting paid for the gig? Nothing. As, as far as we know, nothing. Yeah. So far we have... I really didn't care. I just think you a secret jet. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite band. That's why I was like, Cron Jen and Major Accident. Yeah, GBH. GBH is fucking great sham. So... How would you wreck the uh, Stifler... Uh, not Stifler thing, it's X-Ray Specs. So... Yeah, well, yeah, he's. X Ray Specs played last night. Uh, it was good. So, I felt bad for that girl. So, that we've, so we've heard. They're only <laughs> between, was, yeah, between yeah, okay. 4,000 4, and 5,000 pounds. I mean, what? Should have been the original focus. Yeah, but how do you feel about they're getting paid 5 grand and they're not paying you? That's kind of ridiculous, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, that's cool that she tried, but. Motherfuckers getting too much money for that shit. See what never happened. I mean, they were good. They weren't uh, 5,000 good, though. I'll tell you that much. What if they, they haven't done anything wrong in the past? Fucking money. Yeah, I mean, they were good. They weren't like the worst thing ever. Yeah, they were good. They weren't like the worst thing ever. I enjoyed them, but I don't think they were worth that money. So, tell me a bit about New York. I've never been there. I oh, know. Fuck all about it, so tell me about it. It's, it's a good scene. A lot of a lot more unity it seems between like punks and skinheads. They're, they're, more, they're, they're a lot friendlier. It's so. pretty crazy it's like over here there's no fucking guns and shit like that. Yeah. Over fucking New York it's a war zone. Yeah! You die every fucking day. If you can survive in New York, you survive anywhere. You think, you think bricks are in tough time? I think Brixton is bad, man. Go to fucking Bronx. Yeah, you're gonna be tough when you're in the yard. Stewie! Get your ass shot. So is it, is it really that? You know, we hear a lot of horror stories in the movies, but is it really that bad? I mean, yeah. have you got any examples? What's, what's happened to you? Well, uh, people could be dying on the street and people just keep walking, but they're all business. Nobody cares. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like survival of the fittest. That's what it is. Everybody is like rushing places. The man is somewhere else. Nobody cares. It's like, like I said, it's, you gotta have friends to survive. <laughs> it sucks. Don't ever go to fucking New York. Don't go there. <laughs> nice place. Nice place to visit, but you wouldn't want to live.
So can you uh, tell me how and why you actually got involved with punk rather than any other form of music? Um, for me, this is, this is my brother, my older brother, and skateboarding. I just grew up listening to like, old like, skate punk rock bands. That's it. <laughs> I like, like uh, fucking exploited and blitz and shit like that. Instead of listening to fucking good music. Uh, I don't even fucking... <laughs> I started like in the early 80s. Um, same thing as him, my brother was like listening to Clash and things like that. So he got me into that. And then when I was learning English in America, they got, a friend of mine got me into like the two tone stuff, like madness, pleasures. And I discovered myself the, I guess, the punk British invasion of the early 80s. I got into that. And later on, this is what happened. This is where it ends up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, it seems there's a lot of bands forming in the UK who are heavily influenced by a lot of the American bands, whether it goes back to bands like the Dickies yeah. or bands like Rancid. Uh, yeah, it's the, the opposite. Yeah, same thing as the yeah. 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 I mean, how do you explain that? Because bands in New York, like, well, not bands in New York, but like in America, it's like fucking all the pop up bands. All they want to do, not really in for, for the scene, all they want to do right away is just sign to the label and fucking sell out. They call up every fucking person they can and say, fuck, we're into like, like all the real stuff. Yeah, New York, America right now is going well. England went in the 70s and early 80s. So a lot of bands are cutting their hair and trying to be more. It's like, same thing you guys were here in England right in the past. It's like America just is covered by. That's how I see it personally. Hardcore. Everybody's trying to like, jump in the bandwagon. Yeah. If it does that, we'll still be there. Like, fucking. Well, you can't, you can't. So, uh, as a band, what are your aims and ambitions? Just to keep playing, having fun. Not, yeah. in, not in it for the money, just keep going. <laughs> Put out records. Just play as much as possible. Have a good time. Yeah. What's the fun? It's gone. It's the point. Yeah. yeah. I think it's because of business. Once, if I start having fun, then it's, that's it. It's, it's the point. It's like we just like enjoying ourselves here. I shouldn't even be doing this. I should be watching the band play right now. And last night I was going for a shot. Fuck yeah. That's great. So what? Was you here last night, yeah? Oh yeah. 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 What did you What did you make of it in general? I had a great time. GBH was great. And as always. I was on the streets last night. It was like walking around, could be a fun place to stay. But I liked it, you know. It's like it's fun. Yeah. And I was some Italian pubs, drinking all night. Some people had hotels and everything. So, uh, do you think the punk has actually changed anything? Well, it changed my life, that's for sure. <laughs> I was a nice little boy in Catholic school, in the store, and huh? still a nice guy. You know? I'm still a nice boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, it made me realize, I'll take my mind, that no matter who you are, you're somebody. And that's what I really love the punk. I don't like much the people in bands many because they have added to French friends. They think even in punk bands they have to think they're like rock stars. I don't like that. I think the crowd the people should be the same. You know? That's why like go out with the band do the same thing. Once you lose that, it ain't punk no more. It becomes rock and roll. That's what punk is So how did you react when you heard that the Sex Pistols were going to reform again? What was your... Ash. Ash. Oh! What's up, man? Oh! Big German hugs! Oh. 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 The Sex Pistols reformed Yeah. Yeah, I remember. Um, well, just got here. Everybody loves them. You know, every little kid bears out with the Sex Pistols. Oh, yeah. I loved it. And getting back together. Oh. They never really cared. They were just like... They didn't give a fuck. From the beginning, so to me, they're still part rock. You know, they don't give a fuck. They're still doing it to be the best for them. You know, 
never won the original. Get a shot of Marsh. And I wasn't around. Marsh, this guy is going to be putting out our record. He's, he's a great guy. <laughs> We're interviewing. All right. So, uh, to use, what, what is the best thing that came out of punk? Do what you want to do, man. Just have fun about it. Don't care what anybody thinks. Yeah, just build a lot of people's minds and it's something actually something. Some politics is good and people should listen. But when they become too much involved, they only think one way, they just become part of their own system. So they become like like the rest. They should open their mind, listen to them, because everybody's different, you know, nobody's the same. So, yeah, yeah, so it's a lot of different kind of fun. I listen to the side, I listen to some class bands. I don't like them, some of them, but some of them have good fucking beliefs, which is cool. But if they become the followers, become too much like rich, I don't like that. So, uh, what would you say is the worst thing that came out of punk? Sellouts. <laughs> the people who are just in it for the money. That's, that's not what it's about. People who don't give a fuck to So, finally, in as few words as possible, what does punk mean to use? Freedom. Do whatever you want. Do what you want to fuck. Like I said, we're all different. We all this to each person a different thing. To me, I guess it means more like a more working class, I guess. To other people, like we take it from school, some people are political, some people are jobless, like my kid. So it's different things for different people, you know. It's like you cannot say what punk is because we're all different. So that's not real. Oh, and that's another question. You might have a different one tonight, but now we can talk about the system and society. So, anything else you want to mention before we finish? Anything else you want to mention? Oh, yeah. Think for yourself. That's what it's all about. It might not be original, say that. Yeah. Well, the best was for you. Don't trust anybody. Do what you want to do, man. Have fun. Cheers.